After you have physically installed the Scriptwriter's Toolkit onto your hard disk under Windows XP, Vista or Windows 7 as detailed in previous videos, this video will show you how to tell Word 2003 or Word XP, which is Word 2002, how to use those templates. Okay, now that uh, we have the templates folder in the correct place on Drive C, or a suitable place on Drive C, strictly speaking, the next thing we do is to open Microsoft Word and tell it where the templates are. So here we have an icon for Microsoft Word. You can get it from there, or you can get it from your Start menu, or it may be Start and then All Programs. Anyway, you double click the <coughs> Microsoft Word icon to open it. The next thing you do is to go to Tools and Options and then within Options left click again on File Locations and then you see this one here called Workgroup Templates. This is actually intended by Microsoft for use uh, in a large office where a large number of people use the same templates but it's an ideal place for us to put it where it won't get confused with the other templates here which are your temporary ones essentially so here we have uh, workgroup templates in your case uh, this will probably com be completely blank like this one for clip art pictures here we now click on modify and then within modifier we find our templates folder again. Now this up here says that we are on Drive C already. If necessary you would click on my computer here and then click on Drive C. Double click there. And then we move across here because there's so many folders on mine and we find the templates folder which is here. They're in alphabetical order of course. And highlight that. Or double, -click, double click on that and that chooses templates up here and then we just say OK. And now when we look on here we have that the workgroup templates are located in C backslash templates. So that's that part done. We close that. Now we have to set the macro level so that we won't get an objection from Microsoft Word every time we open a new script. So we go to Tools, then Macros left click, then security, left click, and then <coughs> we choose between these. The one we want here is medium. This one uh, will only set very very secure macros to run. This one only sets uh, fairly well secure macros to run. This is the one we want because this, we put a dot in this one here by a left click. This one chooses whether or not you run macros. This one would allow any macros to run, including macroviruses, which we certainly don't want to happen. There aren't many macroviruses around anymore because they're a very old-fashioned form of virus, but nonetheless we don't want them to run of their own accord without being seen in any way. So we choose the medium position here, which means that when a template is opened that contains macros, it will ask us whether it is safe to run them or not. So that's what we do. We set a dot in there in the medium level of security and then we OK it. That completes the actual setup of Microsoft Word so we can close that now. But uh, before we go we might as well make a folder uh, where you will store uh, your scripts that you're writing. So we open the uh, My Documents folder and then uh, you can see that we've got various folders already here. Um, and we're going to make a new one for the scripts. So all we need to do is to right click in some empty space in the My Documents folder and choose New and then Folder. Click here, left click. And then we get a new folder which we are going to call my scripts. 
and that's all we need to do there for the moment we just close that and we're now ready to start creating scripts.